What is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be showing you how to write the best SEO optimized product descriptions for your e-commerce websites. So what I did was essentially I went over to Google and I searched up what are the best ways to write um, a product description. So I found an article from Shopify. I found an article from SEM Rush. And essentially what I did was I just copied over that information, concise that information onto ChatGPT, and then essentially created a prompt that I'm using in Claude. Now you can use this prompt in the playground mode. You can use this prompt in any other AI tool in which you're using. I'm just choosing to use Claude Opus because I want to test out the output quality from Claude. So what I did was I copied over all of that information um, into the, and then I put it into the system. So essentially this is all information about how to write the best SEO optimized product description. So if you want to use these prompts for yourselves, I will leave a link for the prompts in the description below today's video. All you have to do is sign up for my newsletter and then I'll send you over uh, these prompts. So this is the primer, which is in the system prompt. So again, telling it how to write um, product descriptions. And this is going to be the user message. So I'm going to tell it that you're writing a product description for this product and we're going to insert our product here. When writing, follow the instructions given, be in depth, write in a simple, easy to read tone, da da da. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to enter my product. The product in which I'm writing about is a battery powered back scratcher with an extended arm and a back massager. This is obviously a made up product, but it'll be nice to see what information we're able to get. But I recommend if you're creating a product description, write as much information as you can, because of course the AI will not know your actual product. I would go ahead and I would find the specs. If I can find the specs for my product or if I'm writing a, for a, a product that's on Amazon, I will just go ahead and copy over all of that information from that product. Let's say, for example, this is the product. What I would do is I would then go ahead and copy over all of this information and then I would paste that into Opus. So let's actually go ahead and do that instead because I think that might be more valuable than making up a product. So let's paste this information in. Right. So now it knows the information which we're writing about. And then last thing I'm going to tell us to write in Markdown. So we have everything set up. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to run this. And let's take a look at our output first. So here is the full. So here is a product description which we get back. It's kind of short for my liking. So what I would recommend is I would recommend creating an outline first and then telling it to use that outline. But let's go ahead and see what this product description looks like. Okay, so the Dyson Supersonic hair dryer, key features, included attachments, benefits, and we have actually a link here that works. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a second method. So I told it, let's redo and start by writing an outline first, because I think this may give us a little bit of a longer um, output. So first I'm going to write the outline. And then once we have the outline, then I'm going to tell it to write the full product description. Okay, so as you can see, we get a little bit more information here um, when we actually go ahead and write the outline first as you can see we get about almost 500 words which is not bad for a product description so when we write the outline first we get a little bit of a longer output so as you can see it's a little bit longer we get some key features included attachments specifications benefits and we also get a link here so for a product description this isn't too bad so that's the process in which i would recommend doing and you can also do this in the playground mode essentially it will look exactly the same so all i did was again i went ahead and I copied over all of the information that I found out that is important about writing product descriptions. In the system, I can enter when writing product descriptions, follow these instructions. And then again, for the user and for the input, I can start by telling it that you're writing a product description for this product and enter your product in this section here. You can enter as much details as you like. And once you enter your product information, I would end off with this prompt and I would tell it by start by creating an outline first. And once you have your outline, then you can go ahead and write the full article. So as you can see, you can use this process to write on products that are already in the market, or you can use this process to write on products that are new or products that you're selling on your website. And this is what those product descriptions will look like. And again, if you like, you can always go ahead and expand this uh, product description just by prompting the AI simply and telling it to expand the product description, which you just created. So I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video and I hope that you learned something new. If you would like to try it, my AI writing tool for completely free. Word Rocket is now open and you can use it for completely free. All you have to do is use your own API key and you can use the one shot blog post generator. Also, if you'd like to join my exclusive school community, you'll get instant access to my course once you enroll and you'll also get access to live 
weekly meetings. So if you want to join a uh, school or if you want to join uh, or try Word Rocket for yourselves, all of those links will be in the description below today's video. I'll see you in the next video. Take care.